Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out 10 build hacks in Theme Park Tycoon that you probably didn't know. And these build hacks range from pretty cool things to things that will literally make the game 1,000 times easier. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the very end. But before we do, 95% of you guys that watch my channel aren't actually subscribed. And you 100% should be if you anyone like Theme Park Tycoon too. But anyway, let's get into our video. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're at my little theme park and I have some build hacks for you guys. I have 10 of them actually. They're, they're not really build hacks. There's some build hacks. There's some like really cool features. There are things that will literally make the game 1,000 times easier. But I'm going to showcase all of them right now. <laughs> so the first thing we got is a money farm and these literally will make the game sandbox mode like you you literally have to do nothing after you make one of these like i i have two million cash i've never had to spend money on this park i've never had to wait for money it's a very very nice thing to have it's probably the most useful thing in theme park tycoon 2 but i'm guessing a lot of you already know of them now we're gonna head to our second awesome hack which is this over here this right here is a switch track in theme park tycoon 2 yes you heard that correctly it's fully functional it works it, it just it doesn't go the same direction so like it it goes forward still but you can make switch tracks with this i've seen them used in a lot of builds people don't know how to make them so i thought we would include it in today's video so let's go ahead and make one of these so what we're going to want to do is we're going to go over here we're going to grab this and then what we're going to do is want to set this to 25. okay so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab this red sphere drag it all the way back so now you should have something kind of distorted looking like this look a little weird now, what you're going to want to do, go down to the rotate thing down here and type negative 180. Okay, now it should look something like this. What I want you to do now is grab this blue sphere, rotate it all the way back around. You should see it kind of like going in and out of phasing. So you can turn off the snap and slowly adjust it till it's just right there. You can't get it exactly on the, the, the nose, but you can get very close to it. It's like a few degrees like point degrees off right now and then now we have a functional track switch so now we can just do 180 and boom that's our track switch so as you guys can see you can test this you'll see the train it's gonna go back this way you can have it go straight so it goes in one direction and then backwards it could go anywhere but we're just gonna do this right now it's a pretty cool little thing so the next thing i have on our list is elevators yes you can technically make elevators in this game so we're going to have to wait for this door to open, and then once it opens, we get to proceed upwards. Oh, I, I think it opened. Okay, I, I didn't add any lights in here, but as you guys can see, th this is what the elevator looks like. You obviously could theme this way better, but this is just for the video. As you guys can see, we're going upwards now. We are actually moving upwards. And you might be wondering, how are you doing this magic? Well, this is with the observation tower, and you can do this at any height with the brand new adjustable height to the observation tower which is really sick so you can make this very small you can make it huge you can make it fast you can make it slow it's really cool and i've only seen this utilized in one build you can make the haunted mansion stretching room or like really anything that requires an elevator in theme park tycoon 2 with that now the next thing you guys probably didn't know is if you want to make it so you don't have trash cans around and, and you, you hate, hate your guests, guests and you want to trap, trap them, them like, like I, I do. do. Th th that actually isn't a part of the build hack. But if you want to go ahead and make it so they don't throw trash, you can put trash cans underneath them and they won't litter. So I think it's by 16 by 16 block radius. So you need to have at least one trash can so guests can throw your trash away. So as you guys can see, no guests are throwing any litter. They're all being very nice because there's all of these trash cans right underneath them. And they're somehow reaching through the floor and grabbing them. So, yeah, uh, your, your guests can do that. That's pretty scary. Now, the next thing we have up on our build list is this little thing. It, it obviously could look a little better. You can make it, like, a tiny bit better. But I believe this doesn't need disabled collisions or anything if you want to build something like this. Now, what is this? Well, I just made a curved pathway in Theme Park Tycoon to guests can walk on this yes you heard that correctly they just can't walk on the sides right here but if you add an image path and make it invisible they are able to walk on this which is really really cool so as you guys can see you know awesome little pathway they're just they, they 
can just go whoop. Very cool, because there, there isn't curved paths in this game, sadly. Now, the next thing that's kind of interesting, which kind of ties back to this, is you can make invisible paths on this game. Okay, as you guys can see, my guests are floating in midair. They're not David Blaine, believe it or not. But look at them. They're, they're flying to the heavens. They're ascending. Oh, nope, they're, go they're going back down. But you might be wondering, how do you do this? Well, what you're going to need is one of these image paths. Just make it invisible and boom, your guests will walk on it like they are freaking Jesus. Oh my god, they're walking on water. What is this? This is insane. Look at Caitlyn go. She's a miracle worker. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Okay, so we have another build hack here. As you guys can see, this is a perfect circle in Theme Park Tycoon 2. How do you do this? I, people have actually really wanted to know how to do this. I've had multiple people ask me, how do you make it so circular? This is how. It's actually a feature within the game. And we're going to be showcasing how to do that. So we're going to grab one of these and we're going to put another one like right here. And you have to have disable collisions for this. So you're going to want to enable precision mode. Okay, what you're going to want to do is now that you have it selected and a little bit of distance, you want to hit shift and middle mouse button. And as you guys can see, we're moving it around a circular plane. So we can just perfect circle, guys. Look at this. It's a perfect circle. So cool. It like it is actually really circular and you could do stuff to make it even more circular. But this is just to showcase this feature. Now the next build hack that I have, I I've lost count of how many we have, is if you go to settings and you go all the way down here, you'll see advanced usage hotkeys list. Now there are so many hotkeys for this game. You can change every single thing in this game just by pressing keyboard buttons and it'll be so useful so you can change the pivot angle you can change the transformation you can like select different items rather than only having to use your mouse it will save you so much time so as you guys can see just all the way down here look at that very cool and yeah that's that so the next thing i have over here is something pretty interesting and i haven't seen done in the game as you guys know we got proximity sensors a few updates back and this is a very cool thing right here what this basically does is if you walk into its proximity it'll trigger something and something i don't see done with it is automatic doors so we walk right here look at this the door opens for us and it closes and you can make this a thousand times better this is literally how you do it you just want to make an image two images right here make it so when you walk into it it sets this one to a blank image and the other one to the image of the door and that is how you make a walk through door very very cool I have never really seen these done in the game. So the next thing we have is floating freaking water. Yeah, you. I didn't make it like fully floating, but you could have just water just floating in the air. Like literally just right there vibing. It's actually very useful. You can make really nice looking waterfalls. You could have like cool little water things. I don't know. You could do some cool stuff with it. But you could have water that isn't in the bounds of like these little terrain blocks. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this right now. So what you're going to want to do is also you're going to need disable collisions for this. But what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go here and then you're going to want to go something sort of like this. Now that that's there, you're going to want to get some form of tree. Very odd. You're going to want to get a tree and wrap the trees around it. So should look something sort of like this. So we're just gonna go like this all the way around, like that, easy. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is turn off disable collisions and just literally, it's as easy as this, just paint it. Like you just paint the surroundings of it and, and it'll just automatically, the, the stuff around it will disappear. Yes, you heard that correctly. So now what we will be left with is floating water. Look at this, look at that. We have floating water, look at, you can just, it's floating in midair, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we have one last build hack for you here. I actually haven't even counted these, so I'm just gonna say it's 10 of them. The last build hack I have for you guys 
is subscribing to my channel because I post a lot of these sort of videos. If you want to learn how to become a good builder and just want to play Theme Park Tycoon 2 and like the game or anything, make sure you're subscribed. It's going to be the best build hack on this list. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. Bye, guys!